Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. The Page Setup group on the Page Layout tab in the ribbon contains buttons that allow you to make changes to the fundamental setup of the document. In addition to these buttons, you could also click the Page Setup dialog box button in the lower right corner of the Page Setup group in order to open the Page Setup dialog box. Here you can change any aspect of the document setup that you choose. This dialog box consists of three tabs, Margins, Paper, and Layout. Let's examine the aspects that you can set in this dialog box. On the Margins tab, you can set the margins for your document. Simply set the top, bottom, left and right margins to the length or width that you desire by either typing the measurement units into the boxes provided or by using the spinner arrows at the right end of each spinner box. You can also set the gutter margin which is the amount of wasted space allotted for binding if you are printing a document that you wish to bind. You can also then use the gutter position drop down to select the side of the document where you want the gutter margin to appear. In the orientation section, you can select either a portrait or landscape page orientation for your document or document section. In the pages section, you can select the method for printing multiple pages from the multiple pages drop-down. On the paper tab in the page setup dialog box, you select the size of the paper onto which you will be printing this document. In the paper source section, you can set to which tray of your printer, if you have a multi-tray printer, you will print the first page of your document and then make a tray choice for subsequent pages. On the Layout tab, you can set section break behavior in the section area if desired. You can also set some of the options for headers and footers in the headers and footers section. This replicates the functionality shown in the headers and footers contextual tab. However, you can set your options here if you prefer. In the Page section, you can set the vertical alignment of the page using the drop-down available. This allows you to change the vertical alignment of the text that is on the page to the center, top, or bottom of the page. You can also set the appearance of line numbers and page borders here if desired by clicking either of the two buttons for those options at the bottom of this page and then making the choices that you desire. Now note at the bottom of the Page Setup dialog box, on every tab, is the Apply To drop-down. And this is where you choose to which part of the document you want the page properties that you just set to affect. You can apply your changes to the whole document, just from this point forward, or just the section that you're working on if you use a section break. So once you have the settings that you want for your document or section, you would just simply click OK to apply those changes. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachyoucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!